Hello everyone, Marco Cipetta for Hot Hardware here to show you the brand new LG G8X ThinQ. So LG just announced this phone today along with some really cool accessories and I got some hands-on time and figured you'd want to check it out. So the first thing that's going to jump out at you is this nice 6.4 inch OLED display. It's got a resolution of uh, 2430 by 1080, really nice display on the phone. It's also really powerful, so Snapdragon 855 mobile platform in here along with 6 gigs of RAM and 128 gigs of internal storage, though that's expandable via the micro SD tray. Now, if we take a quick tour of the phone, if you look right up here at the top of the display, there's just a little bump out. That's actually a 32 megapixel front facing camera. And if we jump down to the bottom here, there is a, uh, there is a headphone jack along with a USB-C port, a mic jack and a speaker port. If we jump to the top, hopefully I can get the camera to focus. There's a SIM tray there right there on the top. Now along the left side, you have the traditional volume rocker, but there's also a dedicated Google Assistant button right there in the middle as well. And of course, on the right side, there's the power and lock button. If we jump to the back of the phone, there's a 12 megapixel primary shooter there next to a 13 megapixel wide angle shooter. Obviously there's a flash right next to that as well. And inside the phone is a 4,000 milliamp hour battery. So battery life should be fairly strong with the G8X ThinQ. We should also mention that there is an in-screen fingerprint sensor on the G8X ThinQ. I haven't had a chance to set that up and test it yet, however. Um, and because this guy is based on the Snapdragon 855, you know performance is good. Um, tooling around the phone is nice and snappy. Browsing the web uh, is working perfectly, nice and fast. The screen is really nice as well. But it's this dual screen accessory that really makes the LG G8X ThinQ stand out. I'm going to try to do this with one hand and show you how it works, but this is really cool and LG is being really aggressive with pricing, as I'll tell you in just a bit. So this dual screen accessory basically lets you simply install the G8X via USB-C. You slide it down into the case and just push in the corners. And basically, this case turns the G8X into a dual screen phone. There's also a monochrome display on the front for time and date and you know, basic messaging there. But when you open it up now, the phone has two displays. So having these dual displays allows for some really cool things. You'll notice this little menu button right here. If I press that, uh, a menu is going to pop out if I press it right. And you can have the information from the main screen swapped over to the other screen. Uh, you can show the main screen on both screens, um, a couple of other options as well. So let me show you the, uh, the swap screen in action here. We'll bring out the menu and then just hit swap screens and bang, shoots over to the second screen and the main screen is open just like it was on the phone. So we should mention this second screen has the exact same specs as the main screen and it even has a bump out even though there's no camera. That's just to help simplify the process of keeping things in sync and looking the same on both displays. And the uh, dual screen case here also makes for some interesting possibilities in terms of, I don't know, sharing your device or presenting or even just consuming media, having a nice stand like this. Really interesting option and it can be easily removed. You can just pop the phone right out. You don't have to restart the phone or do anything. So despite these uh, interesting features and capabilities, LG is being really aggressive with pricing. The LG G8X ThinQ with the dual screen add-on case here will be retailing for $699. And we're hearing that some of the carriers are going to have some really aggressive pricing as well. So if you're interested in a dual screen phone and maybe want the possibility of having a thinner, lighter device um, when you want to be on the go and you know you're not going to need it, the LG G8X ThinQ gives you that option. All right, I think we're going to get rolling on our full review of the LG G8X ThinQ and wrap up this quick hands-on look. We hope you've enjoyed what you've seen here. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe and click that reminder bell so you know when we go live or post new content. Once again, this is Marco Cipetta for Hot Hardware. Thanks for stopping by.